Just when you thought your inbox was safe, now comes another Groupon clone. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. eBay has been quite busy this week. The website just got an extreme makeover and started testing same-day delivery. And now, eBay announces it will be selling daily deals special offers, like Groupon does. eBay calls it lifestyle deals, and it's just being tested now in a few markets. The offers use the standard eBay page, and you can even read feedback about a seller. Can the world handle another Groupon clone? Well, even after all this time, it seems eBay believes there's still some money-making magic left in the concept. Are you a fan of Daily Deal offers? Share your experiences with a video comment on Tout, or send an email to update at CNET.com. And also on the topic of shopping, have you heard of Fab.com yet? It's a shopping site that features unique products that are on sale for only a few days. It already has about 8 million users on the web and mobile, but it's putting a much bigger focus right now on mobile. Right now, about 33% of Fab's traffic is from the app, but the company expects that to jump to half by the holidays. Fab launched brand new apps for Apple and Android devices, and it's running a new 30-second commercial. Fab says it expects to do $150 million in sales this year. There could be a big shakeup at Sprint. The carrier just confirmed in a statement it is talking with a Japanese mobile carrier called SoftBank about a substantial investment. Sprint didn't say much else, but the Wall Street Journal published a report with sources saying that SoftBank wanted to pay $12.8 billion to acquire Sprint. Interesting. Over at Verizon, if you've been waiting for a new Droid, the new Motorola Razor HD and the Razor Max HD will hit stores next week on October 18th. Google has rolled out a major update to Street View. Google Maps has added street-level images for 250,000 miles of road across 17 different countries. Facebook gifts are now available to purchase through the Android app. Birthday or celebration alerts are popping up on news feeds with a link to buy that person a gift. It's a way for Facebook to make money, and Apple users will be able to buy gifts in the coming weeks. And we're keeping our eye on a new photo sharing app called Photoset. This is made by Tumblr, but you don't need a Tumblr account to use it. Just pick the photos you want to group together. It posts it on the Photoset website and spits out a link to the photos so you can share them on a social network like Twitter or, of course, Tumblr. That's your tech news update for today. You can get links to all today's stories at the blog, cnet.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.